Hello guys. Hope you all hope you all are fine. Um first of all I apologize from my end. Uh it's been a while since I uploaded a tutorial. I know that it's been it's been a long um uh, pretty much got occupied with some of my personal work. And um I would also like to thank all my sus subscribers here who have been following my channel and you know asking me doubts and a few of have few have asked me support in their projects as well. So thanks a lot for you guys for supporting me and encouraging me. So today here uh, I am back with a new tutorial which is nothing but a tutorial about how to use the humidity and temperature sensor using Arduino Nano. So uh before I start I would uh like to explain a bit about the temperature sensor and and the product I'm using. So this is the setup which I'm using. Uh I have the sensor on my, on the right side of the screen which is blue in color and uh, Arduino Nano on the left side. So I've already made up the connections because it's pretty straightforward. You just have to connect the VCC of the sensor to the 5 volt pin in the Nano and ground of the sensor to the ground of the Nano and the output pin from the sensor to to the any analog pin which you which you guys are comfortable with. So uh the, the sensor model which I'm using here is a DST11 humidity and temperature sensor. You can actually measure both humidity and temperature using this sensor. And uh, I bought this sensor online. So the sensor which I bought is from uh, a Chinese company called Hiletco. Uh, they have the DHT11 humidity and temperature sensor. They also have Arduino Nano with them, so you can order both online. Uh, it's 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 a pretty good good component to be honest, because I've been using a lot of sensors over over the time, and uh, I find their pretty their their components pretty much easy to use, and it's it's almost a plug and play. They come up every every single component comes up the breakout pins, so you know you can just. Uh, connect it straight away onto the breadboard and you can just give the connection straight away. Uh, they also have a lot of other components and controllers available in their online store. Uh, you guys can you know check and go through it and I've, I've actually given the link to their online store and to this product in the description of this video. Uh, they have separate links for the US and UK uh, people and they also provide the service across the globe. Uh, it's the components seems to be pretty good ones because I've I've been using a couple of them and and they 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 function pretty well. The performance is actually really good, so I would definitely recommend you guys to go ahead with the Hilco products because uh, it's pretty cheap and I guess it's it's it, the you don't have to do anything extra to get them work. You just have to plug it and it starts working perfectly. So uh, I just want to tell you about this product before we go ahead with the code. So now uh, I'll just take you to the code uh, and we'll see the 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 coding part and i'll also tell you how to download the library for the dht11 sensor so uh this is the code which i've written for the working so i've included the head of ldht.h and i've taken my arduino nano a0 pin as output sensor output pin so i've declared a variable here as a dht sensor variable so i'll give you the library for this the link to download the library is available in the description so you just have to download the library and just run this code everything will start working fine so uh, in the setup i've enabled the serial communication with the port rate of 9600 and if you come down i have have a instruction here dht.read11 and i'm reading the a0 pin so that would give me the output value from the sensor and then i'm just right away outputting the humidity value and the temperature value so dht dot humidity would give me the humidity in percentage and dht dot temperature will give me the temperature value in degree celsius and that's that keeps running in a loop of five seconds so i'll just power up the nano right now and i'll just show you the output so the output would be visible in the serial communication serial portal so i'll just open the serial portal here and as you can see i have started to receive the humidity value now the humidity is 76 percentage and the temperature is 30 degrees celsius now i'll just touch the sensor for some time and and we'll see how the reading varies so now i'm holding the sensor with my thumb and as you can see the humidity has start, slowly started to change now it has become 75 if we wait for some more time it slowly gradually increases as i'm holding it so uh, now it's it was 75 82 87 now i've taken off my thumb from the sensor right now so now gradually the temperature the, the humidity value will slowly start decreasing the temperature has also changed as as i was touching it so now it has slowly started to reduce and it will come back to 76 so i guess it's a pretty straightforward implementation and 
testing and connection everything is pretty straightforward it's pretty easy as well to do so uh, that's it for today from my end and uh, thanks a lot for watching uh, if you guys have any special requests like if you guys want me to upload any tutorial or any 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 uh, any kind of technical tutorials which you guys want to have from my end please please feel free to comment it below and i'll try my level best to come up with a tutorial as per your demands also if you need any kind of technical support from my end you guys can just comment below and I'll, I'll try my level best to contact you and support you so thanks a lot for watching and stay subscribed and if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe to my channel to get the information or notification about my latest videos thanks a lot do share my videos and do like my videos thanks a lot for watching